BMW X3 Review How the fourth generation blends sleek design, advanced tech, and a powerful driving. BMW's decision to introduce the smaller X3 following the success of the groundbreaking X5 marked a pivotal shift for the brand, which was primarily known for its sharp handling sedans and estates. This move paved the way for a significant expansion of its sports activity vehicle, SAV lineup. Fast forward 21 years, and BMW's identity is as much tied to these models as it is to its sedans. In fact, the previous generation X3 was the brand's bestseller last year, with around 1,000 units sold daily. The only misstep BMW arguably made was sticking with the SAV label, a turn the market has largely moved away from. But as someone who writes for the auto car, I can respect their decision to stick with the original moniker. Now, in line with BMW's typical seven-year model cycles, the fourth-generation X3 has arrived, ready to take on premium SUV rivals like the newly updated Audi Q5, which now comes as a hybrid-only model, and the Porsche Macan. One of the most notable changes in this new generation is the absence of an electric variant. While the X3 retains the same multi-powertrain CLAR platform as its predecessor, the next generation 93 will be introduced next year as the production version of the new E-Class X concept, a radically redesigned EV lineup built on a dedicated electric platform. Since that next-gen electric model won't be here until next year, let's focus on the new X3. By choosing to develop a separate successor for the 93, BMW seems to have allowed the X3 to focus on excelling as a combustion-powered vehicle. That said, some electrification is still present. A new 30E plug-in hybrid version is on the horizon, and all other engines come with mild hybrid technology. The lineup includes 2.0-liter petrol, badge 20, and diesel, 20D, options, as well as the M50 model, which sits at the top of the range until the high-performance X3M arrives. All variants feature four-wheel drive, branded as BMW's X-Drive. The M50, with its 393 brake horsepower and 428 pounds FT of torque, boasts what BMW touts as the most powerful six-cylinder inline petrol engine ever fitted in an M performance model, though the statement comes with several qualifiers if you look closely. The fourth-generation BMW X3 is slightly larger than its predecessor, now measuring 4,755 millimeters in length, 34 millimeters longer, 1920 millimeters in width, 29 millimeters wider, and sits a bit lower. These subtle changes are aimed at giving the X3 a sportier look, with BMW also claiming that the wider track enhances handling. However, the size difference is hard to notice at a glance. What you will likely notice, though, is the updated design. While the upcoming new E-Class models will introduce a new era of BMW design, this X3 serves as a bridge between the old and the new. It features the large, upright kidney grill seen on BMW's recent models, but aligns with the brand's sustainability-driven, reductive approach to design, minimizing unnecessary details. For instance, there's no chrome grill surround. Instead, on the M50 model, and available as an option on others. The kidneys are framed by an LED light wrap called BMW Iconic Glow. The body features cleaner lines, though it retains classic SUV elements like large wheel arches and a flat rear window. There's also a rear roof spoiler, side air deflectors, and newly designed lights at both ends. On all models except the M50, the exhaust pipes are concealed. The M50, however, showcases prominent exhaust tips to emphasize its sporty nature. Buyers can choose from nine standard paint colors, with wheels ranging in size from 18 to 21 inches. Pros. Premium interior with a touch of character. Comfortable sports seats in the M50 and a well-organized dashboard. Decent space in the cabin and boot for a vehicle in this class. Cons. Some design elements aimed at adding character may not appeal to everyone. Infotainment system has physical controls, but they can be fiddly to use. Some haptic controls aren't as intuitive as traditional buttons. BMW says it has worked to add individual style into the X3's interior, which largely seems to manifest itself in some fancy lighting effects. One of the first things you will notice on stepping into the car is the semi-translucent light element that surrounds the center console and the front door handles. 
It features customizable LED lighting that changes color according to the drive mode. For example, it's blue in standard and red in sport mode. It's a slightly odd effect all around, but does at least add a distinctive note at a time when many premium car interiors are safe, bordering on bland. The design around the door handle is certainly distinctive. As well as the big light strip, the X3 badge is featured on a panel that also contains the lock button and a touch control for the air vent speed, just in case you've forgotten which car you've been driving when you go to get out. The dashboard is dominated by a twin-screen curved digital display, and the infotainment runs the latest BMW OS 9 system and retains a useful rotary controller set just below the smartphone charger and cup holders. That said, the infotainment system is clearly designed for touch, so it's quite hard at times to select the right icon using the controller. The on-screen controls and options on the infotainment system are generally laid out well, and you can customize the widgets to your preference. We also like the fact that the navigation is shown on the home screen, so you don't need to keep hunting down the menu to get your directions up. It's also compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Next to the rotary controller on the center console are the gear selector, which is a new, reworked design and a haptic panel featuring some buttons that, among other features, allow you to select the drive modes and set driving preference. But while it's nice to have physical controls for these, the implementation on a single panel could be better. It's hard to find the right place to press without looking, even with a few tiny ridges to aid your fingers, and the text is quite small to read at a quick glance. The M50's chunky sports steering wheel, leather-coated and with a racing-style red band at the top, is taken from the 5 Series and features well-positioned physical controls. In particular, the M50 gains bigger gear change paddles behind the wheel than the lower-spec versions. In terms of cabin size size, the interior is on a par with the previous X3 and feels comfortable and spacious. There are a variety of useful cubbies, although the glove box is on the small side. There's a plentiful 570 liters of space in the boot too, so it ticks all of the boxes you would want for a premium SUV. The M50 model has various bits of M Sport honed styling elements, such as part O'Connor upholstery, while the entry-level 20 we also sampled features a dash covered in a material made from recycled polyester, which arguably makes the cabin feel even lighter and more spacious. For powertrains will be offered in the UK. The 20 uses a 2.0-liter mild hybrid four-cylinder petrol unit tuned for 205 brake horsepower, while the 20D features a 2.0-liter diesel, which also gets a mild hybrid system and puts out 197 brake horsepower. The diesel returns an official claimed 43.5 to 48.7 miles per gallon, depending on spec. The plug-in hybrid is a new unit and comprises the 2.0-liter four-cylinder petrol unit made it to an electric motor that's integrated into the 8-speed automatic gearbox. The combined system output is 295 brake horsepower and, depending on spec, it offers an official electric only. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.